So first of all, I just want to congratulate you. We're here at the Thank end. You, I'm a huge fan of the show, so this is a great moment. But one thing I'm wondering is, when you received the script for the last time, what were some of the thoughts you had reading before and after? Oh, just sort of like, it immediately reminded me of the first Taylor read and thinking like, wow, like I can't believe it's gone by so fast. And also how much we've all grown. Like sometimes you don't realize it, it made us take a beat and yeah. be like, oh, this is ending, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? Like, holy, it really kind of hit me. Stuff doesn't hit me until like way later. So okay. I was just there and I'm like, this is great. Everything's great. And then right. after it's over with, you're like, oh, that was great. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll really hit us in the fall. Yeah. When like we're not showing up for work. And like our bank account <laughs> is just having the exit. Yeah. And no, yeah. no input. Just All output. this stuff costs yeah. money. Oh. <laughs> but what's something that your fans have taught you about the show or your character? Hmm. Well, Good I mean, <laughs> fans have let me know how they feel about Angela in all the different ways. She's a, she elicits a lot of strong feelings. Yes. Um, but I think they, one of the things though that it's been really meaningful though is how many people have um, told me in a way that the show's impacted. Like I remember one guy saying like, he hadn't spoken to his mom in like five years. Wow. And then this is the show that they have started talking to each other for the first wow. time. Wow. And then like someone else told me that like they were getting chemo and like this is what got mm. them through. And so sometimes it's just really lovely because you know, we don't think of how we yeah. impact people's lives and what people are going through. It's intergenerational, yeah. I think a lot of intergenerational fans. Yeah. Also that Tommy's kind of become this blue collar hero mm -hmm. in some ways. like. You know the, the the UPS driver, the mailman, mm -hmm. um, the people who are cleaning up. TSA you know, the agents. Yes. Hey, yes. <laughs> TSA agents, but they really love Tommy. Like it's like, yeah. and I think that there is some sort of blue collar ethic that I brought to the character. Yes. That yes. Tommy does work. He shows up and he gets the job done. Yeah. And so they kind of taught me about that because I see that reflected yeah. in them. Well, wow. Tommy's also got no pretense. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, so your two characters have so much tension throughout the series, and it's just amazing to watch. One thing I've always loved about the show is that the show has done a great job providing context and history without the use of flashbacks. Right. But with that, I'm wondering, because it has to be a level of respect for your two characters, is there anything that you think that Tommy respects most about Angela and vice versa? Mm. I think that he is totally bewildered that she got out the hood. How does she do that? Mm -hmm. It's like magic. But also that you know, he, it's that she gets in the way of Ghost. Uh, you know, his relationship with Ghost, and so he can't have that. I mean, I think Tommy legitimately scares Angela, and not a lot of people do. Right. And she respects him because she he's a formidable contender yeah. in terms of like what he's capable of, and she also knows how important he is to to ghost and mm -hmm. so it is an interesting love triangle in, yeah, the, in that yeah. own way yeah what does angela what is she hopeful for in this season you know i think she's hopeful that everything she's risked her life for will pay off that this love that and this other self that's come with that mm -hmm. will actually get solid ground yeah. to stand on yeah is there something that tommy wants more than anything in this season that we haven't seen yet um a, a family was there anything that you feel, looking back, that, or something that you uh, tapped into specifically? A sense of maturity and growth uh, within the character, and it's kind of um, serendipitous. It just it, it happened, and Tommy kind of recognizes it in the moment, which is 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 a change. Tommy usually is, you know, looking. He'll he'll, he'll Tommy's very much in the moment, mm -hmm. so he's not reflecting in the moment. He's right. just acting. And there's a lot of moments of Tommy reflecting and things, and you'll see you'll see a lot more scenes. I think if they made the cut, I don't know, I haven't seen the scenes, <laughs> of Tommy thinking in the moment mm -hmm. uh, and, and making very quick decision making. Wow. So, and not always for the best. We'll see the old Tommy come right, back out, right. but we'll see a new Tommy as well. Awesome. And I just want to end with, what does the word power mean to you? I don't always think about it. Also, in terms of of, of the show, is like beware of like getting to the top of the ladder and realizing it's against the wrong That's wall. That's good. Mm -hmm. Careful what you wish for. Wow, wow, yeah. 
Awesome. Well, congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much you. for speaking with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. I just want to start pretty casually. How are you feeling in this moment? I feel great. You know, I, I'm always grateful and sometimes in awe that I'm a part of something so amazing and mm -hmm. iconic and also seeing how power has grown over the seasons yeah. and how people are so excited and invested in the show and these yeah. characters and to actually be a part of that is, is, is amazing. Was there any specific moment where you realized the show was a hit? Did you always know from the beginning? 50 told me before there was a power that he was thinking about this kind of show and it was going to be the biggest show on television. And when he says things, I've learned to believe him. Yeah. I've known him for 17 years <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. um, so when he told me that, I believed him. Yeah. And so watching it, I'm just like, oh yeah, he... He told said me that. about this so long ago. <laughs> um, you can never predict, but right, it's great course. to see what he believed in just mm -hmm. come come true like this. And when you read this finale script, where you got the script for the last time, what stood out to you about Lakeisha the most? Her growth. Um, I love that the character kind of start. Her character kind of started off somewhat in the background of Tasha and just being the loyal friend to mm -hmm. a fault, and finally smartening up and saying, "This girl is not." the same friend to me as I am to her, right. so I'm not going to do this anymore. And really stepping out on her own and investing her time into her relationship with Tommy, which could be good and bad, and yeah. also into her family, her son, and this season we'll finally see her son, who everyone's like, where is the yeah. son? We finally see, you know, Cash, yeah. he, he, he makes appearances this season, um, and it's just nice to see her step into her own, so to speak. What does she want most, more than anything in this season? Love. I yeah. think she wants to believe that Tommy really loves her and what they have is real and somehow they can escape all of mm. this and just ride off in the sunset and you know it never really happens that way. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Do you have a favorite moment that was, um, it could be challenging or just the most fun to shoot out of all the seasons, out of all the scenes? Um, I think just, you know, most of my scenes have always been with Notorious character and Joe's character and just to be able to do great work with two people you respect and you admire as people and yeah. actors is is always a great thing and you know Joe and I have spent a lot of time together as Keisha and Tommy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he's really uh, he's really forced me to grow as an actor because he's so incredible in his work when you're working with him you have no choice but to step it up and for mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I'm forever grateful and hope that that takes me you know, into whatever I do next, you know, outside of outside of the power world. But from your point of view, what do you think is the number one thing that draws these fans and that allows the story to resonate with them? I think it's something that we can all relate to on a different level. Like, everyone knows a Lakeisha. Everyone knows, mm -hmm. like, a Tasha. Everyone knows a girl who would do anything for love. Everyone knows a girl who's been cheated on. And, yeah. You know, we all can relate to these characters in different ways, and that's why people are attracted to this world. Now there's some heightened stuff, you know, you might not relate to somebody getting killed every other right, day, right, but course. you know, the general core of just wanting to be loved and mm -hmm. wanting to be accepted, wanting to be the man, wanting mm -hmm, to have mm -hmm. the power, we all can relate to that. Uh, my final question, what does power mean to you? Power, I would definitely say has changed, you know, my life. It's been such an important and intricate part of my life for six years. Um, it's a moment I'll never forget mm -hmm. and um, it's really made a stamp on, on my life, and I'm just honored to have been a part of it. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for you. speaking with I us. Congratulations it. on another season. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. I mean, I feel like we did it. We've accomplished something that a lot of shows don't yeah, accomplish. Yeah. Six seasons of a hit show, six seasons of working with some of the most amazing actors and people that are really like my friends mm -hmm. now has been amazing. I grew up a lot on this show. I started the show. At 29, I became a mother on mm -hmm. the show. So really, I just feel a sense of gratitude yeah. and also just I'm humbled yeah. because it didn't have to go this way, but yeah. it did. And like you said, there's so many shows that don't make it to six seasons. Oh, my gosh. So many, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. But when did you realize this show was a hit? Right? Yeah, it's funny because season one, I always felt like it was going to be great. And I believed in it. When I first read the first episode, I was like, this is going to be dope. Yeah. And it shoots in New York City, and yeah. there's music, yeah. and 50, and sexy. <laughs> I love this show. I was a fan before I was even cast in it. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't until season three. Honestly, season three was a turning point for us. We broke all kind of records. We became the highest rated show on the network. Yeah. 
We were one of the highest on premium cable period right behind HBO Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. It just felt like season three solidified our place. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew, oh, we're like really doing big right. things. <laughs> we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, so then yeah. I sat down and said, okay, I can get comfortable get and kick, <laughs> off, kick off my shoes and relax and enjoy this. Yeah. And to me, Tasha is one of the most resilient characters in the series. And I'm wondering what it was like for you to build that character throughout the years. She's so strong. She's so selfless. So could you just talk about the process of portraying her? Oh, my goodness. Uh, this year, I've been portraying Tasha's, you know, strength and how much she is willing to do whatever for her family. Mm -hmm. uh, she's such a complex woman and mother. This season, you'll see the ride or die mother she is. All the other seasons, I feel like she's been the ride or die wife. Mm, mm -hmm. Now, Tasha becomes the ride or die mama. And that's when you really see the depths that she will go. And um, this character is, is full of levels and layers, and I just can't wait for people to see how authentic she's going to become. Was there anything about her that surprised you this season? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Tasha's grimy. She's a little grimy. <laughs> and I was like, are you that grimy though, girl? <laughs> I was reading the script like, is that what we doing? <laughs> but um, she's a survivor. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you can judge her, you can like her, love right. her, hate her. That's up to you, but she will survive. Yeah, and she will make sure her kids survive. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, I think Tasha has had some moments toward the end of this season where I was very shocked. Like, mm -hmm. I'm still shocked. I'm sitting here thinking about it like, are they really gonna let her do this? Mm -hmm. Because she becomes dangerous, even in her own mind. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's this place where you just, there's no turning back for you, where you make a decision, mm -hmm. and Tasha's at that place. She doesn't care what anybody says or does. She is going to do whatever she can yeah, yeah. to protect herself and to protect her son. And like you said, she's a survivor. Absolutely. And one of the things, I mean, everyone has their own reasons for why they love the show so much, but I'm curious about your point of view. What do you think is the number one thing that draws these fans or, or makes the show resonate with, with the fans and viewers? I think the number one thing that resonates with our fans is I think how raw the show is mm -hmm. we don't really dilute or sugarcoat or water down anything yeah. like if somebody's getting shot in the head they really getting shot yeah. in the head and you see it like yeah, too yeah. graphically the sex is so amazing and real to the point where people feel like they're really having sex <laughs> i'm not us but the character right, people right. were watching uh the death scenes the the authenticity and the rawness of this show it's so new york so if you were watching it to live a fantasy, you might want to turn the channel. But if right. you're watching to get the real real, you're going to be locked in. Yeah. And this yeah. show does a great job of giving the most authentic version of what a, a power world would be like in yeah. New York. It sure does. And we are so excited and Thank ready to you. see the rest yeah. of the season. Thank and you. congratulations once again. Thank you so much.